Welcome along to the NALS Conference 2016 in York and I'm joined now by uh, industry commentator and host Kate Faulkner. Hello. Always lovely to see you Kate. Likewise. Now how important is it for agents to take a day out of their business to come along to an event such as this? Well we've only had the morning. Um, I already need some painkillers because my head is hurting from all of the legal changes that Robert has talked about all of the right to rent checks mm -hmm. and the complexity and it's and then all of the electrical stuff as well it's not the rules and regulations that are out there it's how to interpret them mm. that's what makes your head hurt and if you do not spend a day, day like this which other agents aren't doing I wouldn't want landlords and tenants to be touching those agents with a barge pole mm. because the work you have to do to do the right thing in lettings these days is you might as well be training as a solicitor, quite frankly. Mm. Mm. It is that hard. It really is unbelievable. So this is a great way to keep up with industry um, updates. And also, of course, the networking is a very important part of it as well, isn't it? Well, it is. I think we had, the, you know, in the first session, we, we were talking about ideas of how do you work against the cheap agents? What do you do when you come across a non-compliant agent or indeed a non-compliant landlord? And it, you only have the courage to kind of always do the right thing or come up with a good idea when we do that together because if we all try and do that in our individual offices much as we're competitors we actually need to really really club together now and help each other because you know there's a lot of the industry is getting hit for a lot of stuff and blamed for a lot of things which isn't their fault mm. So and really there's a great feeling of creating solidarity here, isn't there? Huge. And what, you know, nationally we can do so much, but actually it'd be great to see NALS agents, for example, even competitors at a local level, getting together and sharing with um, other organisations in their local areas the learning that they've had today, or just that they were here today and they are just completely up to date on the rules and regulations. Mm. That's important stuff. Yeah, I think we've worked out recently that there are over 145 government statutes and regulations that landlords have to be compliant to. So from an agent's perspective, surely this is a good um, marketing tool to go out to landlords and say, we can take care of all of this for you. Because surely, you know, landlords are finding it more and more onerous to keep up themselves because they're in busy day jobs. Yeah, I mean, I am quite categoric. If you are a landlord, if you do not belong to a landlord association mm -hmm. or you don't use an Arla Nals Ricks agent, I don't think you've got much hope of keeping up with the law. And if you're a landlord, you rent one or two properties and you're full time working, you haven't got a chance. Mm -hmm. I can't do it myself. I have a wealth of people to help me when I'm writing books or articles. So if I can't do it, how can they? So it is Im impossible to keep up. And it's not just the number of laws or knowing the law exists. It's the interpretation. So what was so helpful about today was the huge numbers of questions that people are asking because there's a load of grey areas and it's, well, what is right or wrong and how does the Home Office feel about this situation or that situation? If you don't come to events like this, you don't get that learning. Mm, well, it must be great for agents to be able to interact with the Home Office in this kind of environment because they wouldn't get that opportunity elsewhere, would they? No, they wouldn't. And I don't think that necessarily, you know, if you're in the Home Office, you're in a government and agency, you don't. It, you're not going to necessarily appreciate how much you're asking people or indeed understand the job they have to do and I think a lot of the questions today brilliantly answered I have to say um, by the by the Home Office um, but if they hadn't asked those questions then it wouldn't have got the Home Office thinking well actually what is the best way to answer that and I think it's the Home Office has learned some stuff I would yes. hope from today as yes. well and that's what we need we need them to understand our business so hopefully today's event is a bit like dropping a pebble in a pond. The ripples will go out, people will take it back into their everyday workaday worlds and the positivity and the learning will spread. Yeah, and I'm really proud of everybody that came today. You yes. know, letting agents do not get thanked for the work that they do. They work incredibly hard on behalf of landlords and tenants. Yep. They cannot legally just look after a landlord. They have to look after the tenant too. I think that's completely misunderstood. And for all the guys that, and girls that made the effort to come today massive thank you for the work that you do because it's a big you know it's a lot of time out but if they don't take this time out they can't do their job properly
Well, I second that. And also, Kate, we must thank you as well for your continued efforts to improve um, the experience of the private rented sector for everybody. You're such a great champion of um, the best people and the best ways forward. So thank you for everything that you've brought to today's event as well. Well, that's really kind. I mostly chat about it. It's everybody else that goes away and does all the hard work. So, uh, yeah, but that's very kind. Thank you. Thank you, Kate.